Hi friends. Uh, so uh, today I'm very happy to have Dr. Josefa, who's uh, secured a rank 151 in INI uh, November 23. And uh, one of the main reasons why I wanted to talk to him was that he started off with a rank of 15K in NEET, right? And from there to secure uh, 151, uh, you know, so almost a hundredfold improvement, which is amazing uh, in, in a matter of six to seven months, right? So so uh, I am really curious because there are lots of students who are listening and wondering whether they can ever do it or not, you know, uh, with, a, with a, a five digit rank. So, so you know, uh, that's why this journey is very important so so congratulations and very very well done and uh, how are you feeling what was your journey like what was your strategy please the stage is all yours now oh so thanks a lot, lot ma'am so like just a, a brief introduction so uh, i'm a doctor Griffa Bappai. i did my mbbs from a, a private medical college ashwini uh, medical college solapur and uh, in uh, neat i got a rank of 15k and then in uh, May, I and I got a rank of 3.7K. Mm -hmm. And in uh, November, I got a rank of uh, 157. So yeah, my uh, my strategy was first were very wrong. Like first I uh, used to do main notes like, and uh, people used to tell me like uh, they were uh, not revisable, but still I did them. Yeah. So like it was one of the biggest mistake. And second biggest mistake was I didn't uh, give GTs a lot. Like, hmm. uh, till uh, NEET, I gave only three GTs. Hmm. So, like, yeah, that was my two biggest uh, mistakes of blunders, you can say. Mm -hmm. And like, after uh, NEET, I changed my whole strategy. Like, I kept my main notes aside. And I focused only on uh, consigned notes like BTR and uh, DVT and marrow revision notes. Okay. So, yes, I kept them aside. And every Sunday, I used to give a GT, like every Sunday. Okay. And, uh, Every day I used to solve at least a hundred PYQs. Like mm -hmm. each day, two, two to three hours I used to solve. Okay. So your main MCQ practice used to be pre uh, previous year questions and and grand yes. obviously. Yeah. So so let's talk about GTs now because that's something which bothers a lot of students. So can you take me through your curve? Of first of all, of the score of the GT, how it started off and how it ended, and how would you uh, analyze those GTs? Same day, karte the, ya over the week, karte the, entire GT karte the, ya sirf incorrect karte the. So how was your I, analysis of yes. the GTs? Yeah. Uh, like uh, first, I used to uh, get a score of like uh, four hundred and fifty and all, and uh, uh, like the used to uh, do it uh, like on the same day. And if it was a live GT, then I used to give on Sunday and review it on Monday. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, and my score uh, didn't improve for uh, like around 10 to 15 uh, GTs. Like mm -hmm. 10 to 15 uh, GTs, my score got stagnated at uh, around 480, 500. But after that, it like shot up to around 600, like, okay. like suddenly it shot. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, so like... Uh... You you said you used a lot of concise resources. So let's talk about BTR, obviously, because that is what I know. So, so uh, you know, uh, in BTR, uh, how would you follow? Did you follow the entire schedule or you were on your own schedule and you used to see the bonus BTR and BTR videos? Like oh, no, like I, like I just got, got the printout of annotated PDF and I just made my own schedule like. Yeah. The BTR, the I did the short subjects from BTR, like the third year, everything I did from BTR and that I did from BTR, like it was the best it was. Okay. Did you do the ENDs? Uh, no, no, no. That you didn't do the test. So you relied mainly on the theory aspect of BTR yeah. and, and other resources as well. So, so I think your, your strategy is a good hybrid. It's, it's a bit different from what I have seen so far. And that's also a good perspective. So you yeah. used theory content of you know all of the good high yield resources and you've also combined it with a lot of mcq practice wherein you would do pyqs on a day-to-day -day basis and then you did a lot of gts which obviously gave you you know 200 mcqs at the end of every 10 days or every week so so that's a unique approach to be very honest uh, and and uh, i am so happy that you know it got you the result that it did and uh, i'm sure a lot of uh, you know uh, students can learn from this approach as well um, so now let's talk about the exam uh, so on the exam day what was your thought process like and then the pattern has just changed so so how did you approach the test day 
so like uh, see the like the pattern ja changed but uh, in my mind it was like the it is the same for everyone so let it be 45 minutes let it be 40 minutes doesn't matter like it's the same for everyone it's a competitive exam just yeah. ranking like even in ina city you don't like, get the marks you just get the rank so it yeah. doesn't matter like so yeah like i was calm on that day mm -hmm. and uh, and the uh, exam strategy that i used to uh, which i would li like to share is that uh, in ina city once you mark a question for review so that question is not considered so i didn't uh, i didn't physically mark it but i just wrote it on the back of the admit card like the question number yeah. so yeah like that was a tip i could share good that's good so you know you are not scared that in case you run out of time you know you will be uh, left with a lot of un unmarked questions yes. that's a, that's a good good advice uh, so so thank you so much any any last words any shout outs that you want to give i'm sure your family is thrilled at at your result and and please convey our regards to them as well so any yes. any shout out to your friends your family any teachers that you want to make like a big shout out to you ma'am like thank you and many the teacher like i follow many teacher so yeah like and i'm thinking about making my like i made a youtube channel so like if anyone uh, wants to like uh, uh, see my whole journey like the specific resources by which i use so you can see and uh, ma'am uh, uh, like ask me how i ma made a schedule so like uh, uh, before the 10 15 days i did my weak subjects first so if even if i run out of time even if i didn't do the strong subjects so it will be okay like hmm. so first according to the uh, gts i did my weak subjects first so yeah that was right that's that's a good tip again because you know people tend to ignore them we tend to push them away because we don't like them and and you know ultimately just before the exam that is what you are scared of so it's a good thing to you know eat that frog and finish those weak subjects up front yeah. yeah so that's that's also amazing so thank you so much dr rozefa it was great and, uh, one more you. thing like yeah yeah please go on <laughs> i'm so sorry yeah yeah okay no no Uh, like I made like uh, two choti copies of like Ina City and Neat PG, and in the end I made a like filled the whole wall of sticky notes. So the advantage of that 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 I could see everything at once. Like uh, before sleeping, I could I just uh, uh, revised it, and uh, uh, while getting out in the morning, I revised it. So if you want, I like I can share a photo. Like yes, of course, of course. Yeah, so so basically, you read your wall for the last one week before the exam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In case you had to move outside your house, then your rank wouldn't have come. <laughs> amazing. No, I'm sure that is not true. Just joking. So so well done, and I think that's an amazing way to concise everything. You know, that gives you the confidence that you have revised everything that you had to just just before the exam. Great, great. Any any last words that you want to say? Um, no map just reading like do your like people are scared of giving gts like revision is never complete you should remember that and yeah. so give gts and uh, make concise notes like i uh, i was able to get a, such a good rank because i changed my st strategy like if like i uh, kept on reading my, my main notes so it wouldn't have happened so like and do pyqs like more importantly py previous set of yes yes yeah. so you Yeah, you worked on your mistakes. That is, I think, the moral of the story that you recognize where you are. It's not working for yourself, and you correct that. I think that introspection is very important, which which a lot of students don't do. So, so that's great. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, you, yeah, hopefully we'll get to speak to you soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.